afternoon, my friend. This is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I got my wellness friend, Mr. Dr. Derek, on. How you doing, Derek? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Well, we live in the same general area, so we can't talk about the weather because it's probably very, very comparable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. It's getting colder out, that's for sure. But that's uh, one of my fancy-dancy segues into uh, our topic today, and that is the idea of chiropractic in places that are not in this area. In fact, outside of the country, maybe places like Costa Rica, which is a place that I'm looking into, and uh, Bali. Do they do chiropractic in Bali? Um, I'm sure they have some some varying degrees of chiropractic. I mean, it is it is starting to become a lot more of a worldwide profession. Uh, more people are, are bringing it back over to their countries and stuff. And so it, it is becoming more popular uh, in those different areas. But just like within the U.S., I mean, it's taken a long time to, I mean, even now you can consider it, you know, chiropractic's over 100 years old mm -hmm. and you can't really consider it to be, you know, popular. But, I mean, it's it's definitely trending up, and it has been over the past few well, years. Well, I, I remember when acupuncture was like, what? You put needles yeah. in yourself? What? The, but now yep. people do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so it is starting to, starting to grow on a more international level. You know, a lot of the more developed countries, um, you know, over in Europe and Canada and some of those, they, they definitely, you know, I know chiropractors who have practiced over there. And even when uh, earlier this summer I was in um, Germany and Italy, every once in a while you'd run across a holistic center that had chiropractic in it. Well, I know that uh, Costa Rica is one of those destinations where people go there for, for operations and medical treatments mm -hmm. and stuff like that because yep. it's much more affordable than uh, the United yeah. States. <laughs> so they end yeah. up uh, taking a little uh, vacation health thingy or whatever. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I don't know if you knew this or not, but did you know that the uh, United States is one of the only countries in the entire world that allows um, pharmaceutical companies to... Uh, um, advertise on TV? Well, I didn't know that, but it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty obvious that, uh, you know, we're a capitalistic country. So any way to yes. make money and I, I don't like that stuff. I had a little heart issue a while back and they wanted yeah. to get me on, what is it? Like Oxycontins or something like yeah, that? Yeah, Oxycontin. All that yep. kind of stuff. And I just said, I don't want to do that. So I actually went to, you don't happen to know a Maria Agassin, do you? Yeah, um, I, over in St. Louis Park. Yeah, she's not yeah. anymore. I think she's she's moved her place oh, okay. somewhere else. Yeah, but, but I, I do know the name, yeah. I went right to her instead, and we just uh, decided I should uh, start eating better and exercising and drinking more liquids and uh, yeah. did the chiropractic route. Because you get into them uh, them drugs and stuff, it's very, very addictive because... Like, did we talk? I don't know. Did we talk about painkillers and stuff before? Yeah. Well, yeah. I think we yeah. brought up. Uh, it was either last week or the week before. We talked about the uh, the whole movement that Health Source is teaming up with the Salvation Army and yeah. um, trying to fight the opioid addiction in our country because it's it's pretty terrible. And and kind of going on to your point, what I what I end up seeing a lot in my office is I see patients who come in here, and and one of the big questions I'll ask them is, "What medications are you on?" Just because I I want to know if there are certain things that they're having that you know it might just be a side effect of a med medication it might right. not be anything that's going wrong in their body and uh <clears throat> one thing that that you start to see is you know like let's say someone goes into the doctor and they get put on blood pressure medication and then all of a sudden you know that produces a side effect within that person and then so they go in and then they give them another medication to fix that side effect right which causes another side effect, which then they get on another. I mean, and it's very easy for all of a sudden someone who wasn't on any medications at all to be all of a sudden going, well, now I'm on five different ones. Yeah, and having no idea how to get out of it because you created like almost a combination lock of stuff. You yeah. don't know what to take off first because it's, cause, you know, I had a, a nephew and his wife, she used to go out drinking on Friday and Saturday nights and then yeah. the next day she'd be, you know, taking Tylenol and stuff. And I go, why are you taking all that stuff? She goes, I got a headache. And I go, well, it's not a Tylenol deficiency. No. You got a headache because <laughs> no. it's Friday, Saturday night, this stuff. Yeah. Oh, I, that's one of the most common things I say. And I say it in a joking way. <clears throat> but when, when patients come in here, you know, we see a lot of people who are dealing with migraines and headaches. And, you know, I just tell them, I'm just like, you know, so what do you do to treat it? And usually it's like, oh, I take Excedrin migraine or I take Tylenol to fix these headaches. And, 
I, I try to get their mind thinking in a different way when it comes to healing and, and, and the body and, and illness. And I say, it's like, do you think you get those headaches because you have a deficiency in Advil? And they're exactly. like, well, no, that's ridiculous. I'm like, well, that's kind of the way that you're treating yeah. this is you're, you're giving yourself Advil to try to take care of this. But it's like, but there's something going on yeah. within your body, within your nervous system that's, that's causing that headache well, to happen. You might be getting a headache just because you're dehydrated and you should drink water. Oh, absolutely. Or a lot of times, you know, if, if chiropractic isn't the answer for their headaches, the first thing that I go to is their diet. A lot of times people who are, you know, allergic to certain foods and not in the allergic way where you think of like, oh, I'm getting hives or all of a sudden my throat starts to swell up. They're allergic in the way of like they, they eat a certain food and it could be something as easy as turkey and their body just doesn't respond well to some of the nutrients that are in turkey. All right. And all of a sudden that starts to provide a headache. And so you start cutting out some of those things like gluten and dairy and, and sugars and some of those. And all of a sudden they change their diet around and their headaches are gone. <laughs> well, I know uh, you'd mentioned that, uh, you know, the United States does the advertising and stuff. I was on a flight back from Bali uh, sitting mm -hmm. next to this guy from India. Yeah. And we ended up talking about stuff like Coca-Cola. And uh, they don't even like to advertise Coca-Cola and stuff like that no. over in these other countries. No, so, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's terrible for you. I mean, and that, that is the thing is, is one of the biggest things when you talk to, to people who are from other countries and they move to the United States, one of the biggest things that they'll tell you is like, I can't believe how much like drug companies advertise within the, the um, TVs and the, the radios. Well, th that's a weird thing, too. I mean, uh, granted, it is, you know, business. You can do whatever you want with your business and stuff. But when you see these um, things for, for these drugs and they go on and on and on and on about how bad it is and don't get within three feet if you're pregnant because you might yeah. it's just yeah. it's crazy and then you, you, like the, the things in the magazine you turn the page over and you read all this stuff in like literally three-point type and it's yeah. all this stuff that you got to look out for and you just kind of wonder what's going on in a person's head yeah. other than the headache that yep. th makes them think they want to do that yeah. and the um, expense too it's not it's not maybe it's because it's you know, insurance used to pay for it or whatever, so they think yeah. it's free. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's fun. We can we can learn so much from an educational piece from the the kids that we have around us. You know, like either your kids or your your nieces and nephews. Like I have a, a cousin, and I, we were sitting there watching one, you know, some show or I think it was a football game actually, and they were talking about this medication and. All of a sudden, it starts to list off all these side effects, and the last thing is always, and in some rare cases, can cause death. And my little cousin, who's ten years old, he looks at me and goes, "Why would you ever take that if it's gonna possibly kill you?" <laughs> and I'm just like, in my head, I'm just like, "Yeah, right." <laughs> like, why would you? That's called a legal disclaimer. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, but going back to different countries, you know, chiropractic is becoming more popular in different countries. It's, I have a couple, um, cool stories, a, a friend of mine or a colleague of mine who goes to Africa every year on a mission trip. Um, and they, they provide chiropractic care to, um, these, these little villages in Africa. And he said, this is the second year that, uh, that they went there and this pat, he just got back uh, about a month ago. He said, cool story was, he was, we went to the same village that we went to last year. And, and the, the first year that they went, it was a really cool story. Some guy uh, was in a wheelchair and he hadn't been able to walk for about seven years. They gave him two adjustments over the course of two days. And after the second adjustment, he actually got up out of the wheelchair and started walking. Oh. And, uh, you know, so this year they went back to there and, and some of these people have to, you know, they have to walk like, you know, three, five miles to go get to their house to come back to the bigger village where they're coming. Mm -hmm. And this year, this guy ran back to his village, to his smaller village, <laughs> and he was yelling in the town. He goes, the real doctors are here. The real doctors are here. And he was telling all this. <laughs> he brought 25 people from his village over to this this place so that they, were, they would get chiropractic center care because he was so, like, just fascinated with the, the stuff that they did the year before. You know, when someone says, like, I did a chiropractic adjustment and he got out of the wheel, he's walking again. It's not really one of these, like, evangelistic healing type no. things. But it just no. makes total sense in that I remember, I might have shared this before, but I was uh, carrying one of my magic props in one, one, yeah. one day. And I just felt something weird happen in my back. It wasn't yeah. big. It wasn't no big deal. I woke up the next day and I was working. Yeah. And it just got to be more and more and more. And pretty soon I was literally on my back. 
And I was thinking, I need to call 911 or something because I don't yeah. know if I'm going to be able to get up. And I finally did get back up and I went to the chiropractor. He cracked me around and I was able to then go walk around the lake. Yeah, absolutely. Because what it is I mean, is probably like a nerve or something that's pinching and that's why you got to sit in that wheelchair because you can't get yeah. up. Yeah, exactly. And for that for that guy, the, the nerve impingement had gotten so hard that like – are, are so intense that his muscles just literally weren't working. And right. Once you once you started to free that that up, and his muscle, his brain was able to communicate back with his lower leg muscles. Then all of a sudden, he could start to get back up and start to move again. So yeah, it's I mean it's a pretty um, incredible thing. Now, obviously, for most people, you know, with the advancement in medicine that we have over here, most people could just take a drug and the pain would go away, and then they'd be able to get up and start walking. Like again. a muscle relaxant or something. Yes, but but over there, they don't have that sort of stuff, and so, like, they just have to either live with it or, you know, I mean, yeah, pretty much live with it or try to find some other different way. Well, sometimes uh, developed countries like we've got now, we've got things that uh, seem to make life easier, but in the long run, they don't. Like elevators, yes. instead of taking the yep. steps, you take the elevator, and pretty soon your knees don't work anymore. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, with the advancement of medicine, there's obviously some great and fascinating and, and really cool things that are happening with it that help a ton of people. But it makes us rely on certain things like, oh, when I'm in pain, I take a pill and that's going to make me feel better. But in the long run, it's actually bringing me further away from being healthy, um, you know, in, in the long run. But, you know, we're, we become a society of quick fixes and very short attention spans and yeah, so. Right. So I'm going to finish this one up and beam it up. And I think I'll create the topic and stuff around uh, like chiropractic in the United States and beyond other countries. Yeah, something like that. Absolutely. Because that, that's kind of cool that uh, maybe we can learn something from other countries that don't have the technologies that we have. We can bring them to them and they can go, hey, this stuff works. And then yeah. maybe we bring it back here and we'll listen. Exactly. Try to simplify our health care as much as we possibly can. Yes, it's easier easier done than said. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. okay, Dr. Derek, thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow right. at Master Networks. Thank you so Peace. much. Have a great day. See ya.